such a fast result that you will be able to do about two or three times as much work as you ordinarily would be able to do because the patient isn't, isn't rearing back like this and going like that. And if you want to give them, uh, suppose we'll say that you had some pretty difficult work to do. Well, you could give them, uh, you could give them uh, uh, anesthesia now if you haven't got enough faith in yourself to be able to do this without anesthesia, but uh, give them some Novocaine or xylocaine or whatever it is that you use and you'll find he doesn't object to it at all and you'll find that you have a much more tractable patient. Now we're all through with the dental treatment because we keep them in this state. Now the wonderful thing for the dentist to know is that even if he opens his eyes, because he has to open his eyes to uh, use the cuspidor, he has to open his eyes uh, perhaps to uh, have you uh, show him uh, uh, various things that you want to do, uh, for them and so on, but you could say, now I want you to uh, open your eyes, rinse your mouth, they use that cusp door, get rid of that debris, and then uh, when you lean back, you relax more than ever. And he leans back and he relaxes more than ever, and he's got a beautiful steak. <clears throat> now, the fact that he opens his eyes right now, you say, oh gee, I lost the steak. Oh no, I haven't. Close your eyes again, doctor. And he's right back in the steak. Now prove it to you. Look at this hand. You see what I mean? Dentists are so afraid that, oh, he opened his eyes so I had to start all over again. Nonsense. You don't have to start all over again. You carry right on from where you left off and you've got the state right along. Now, this will be apparent to you as we work more and more. Now, he came out of it just now. But that still doesn't mean that he hasn't got the state. And when I was through with him, here's what I'd say, close your eyes once more, doctor. Just close your eyes again. Because now I'm going to have you open your eyes, and, and when I do, your mouth is going to feel wonderful, and you're going to feel better than you felt all day. Now open your mouth, uh, uh, open your eyes, and notice how good you feel. How do you feel? That's the way I. Uh, that's the way I would bring them out of it. There's a reason. Did you for do anything to my mouth? No, I, I didn't. But I, but, uh, but but uh, I'll show you something. I close your eyes again. Close your eyes again. I'll show you. Close them just like you had them. Relax just like you were. There, let's have some dentist who, well, here, you didn't make that test. Just come on, close your eyes, please. Here, you didn't use this at all. This wasn't in anyone's, this is absolutely sterile. So you go ahead and make a test, and you'll find now he won't feel anything. You know that he's working there, but that's all. <laughs> How did you feel? What'd you feel? Oh, I'm just something. No, no, nothing bad. <laughs> now, gentlemen, did you see what he did? He left it hang there. He let it hang there. Well, that's an explorer that he let hang from your, from your gingival area. And isn't that correct? Isn't that where you had it? Right. Sure. And the gingival area is a pretty sensitive area of the mouth, Doctor. And you would have just hit the ceiling under ordinary circumstances if he did that. So I, I want to show you that, that, that you're just like anybody else. Everybody is amenable to this if you just realize that when you work with them. Now, friends, d don't go away, doctor, because I want you to, to work on the next band. Now, uh, I would like to know, before we get started with the actual practicing now, the various specialties of the men. How many OB men do we have here? One, only, only one in the whole room? Don't, you do OBs. Uh, uh, three. Three. Uh, now, uh, are there any other specialties represented? Uh, surgery, I know. How many do we have in surgery? Uh, three in surgery over here. Uh, are there any other specialties? Uh, I beg your pardon? Orthopedic. Uh, I do dermatology. D dermatology. Fine, doctor. I just want to know that. Now, when you get to these specialties, Pauline, uh, if you're working with them or I am, Tell what specialty you're in, because there is certain information that we can give you right at the start, which will help you, I think, a lot in getting started. Would you come up, please? He worked on you, so you worked on him. Uh, and you're in dermatology. Uh, so, but, uh, uh, doctor, uh, just start as though here was a patient in your office coming in for, we'll say, uh, some painful dermatological treatment. And uh, you want to make this treatment easy for them. They say we're going to take a mole off. Yeah, all right. His lower lip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical. 
Aha. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you want me to go ahead? Yes, yes. The very same way. Use the same approach that I did. And don't worry if I stop you because you're the first man up, and the first man up always gets the brunt of the criticism. You know that. But uh, you seem to do all right yourself, so now you know what has to be done to the next man. Who's going to get the brunt? <laughs> you, we, won't, we won't do anything to you. You don't have to worry about that. Doctor, you want me to take this off of your lip? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever had one of these removed before? No. Well, they, do you think they hurt? Yeah. Well, I uh, think if you'll relax, we can do this without hurting you. Now, Doctor, may I just make a little suggestion there? Never use the word hurt while you're using hypnosis. Hurt, pain, knife, needle, sharp, incision, stitches, or any word that implants a picture of pain, mm -hmm. leave that out. In other words, I think we can do this without you feeling it at all, or something like that, mm -hmm. without it bothering you a bit. But don't implant a picture of pain, because you, you make them very suggestible as you work with it, and your word has painted a picture. Do you see what I mean? So watch your wording at the very start. I think okay. now if we can make you relax, we can do this in a very pleasant manner. That's now, right. try to just uh, let yourself go there. And as I bring my hand down over your eyes, let your eyes close. Come right on down. I'll close them. That's fine. Now keep them closed. Make sure that they're closed. Relax them now to the point where they will. And see if you can and see that you can't open them. Test your eyes and be sure they won't open. Now isn't that a pleasant feeling? Doesn't that feel good? Now then let that feeling pass all over your body. Just let it go clear down to the tips of your toes. Why doesn't that feel good? Now, Doctor, no, no, you, you don't make a test yet, Doctor. Get a, a suggestion before you do. Just stay completely relaxed. We're going to make a little test here, and uh, you won't feel it or you won't notice it. And he won't, because right now, you know where his threshold is. Look, look, look. That threshold has practically vanished, you know? So you know he's not going to feel it as he normally would. Now, what sort of a test do you want to make, Doctor? Her Horses. Now, you see, those, those, that would paint a picture, you see what I mean? And, and even in clowning, uh, when you're doing this, you, you don't clown because, you see what, if you paint a picture on his mind that, that he's going to feel this, then your test will not be valid. So when you ask for an instrument, just give me that instrument or, or something, you know what I mean? But uh, now, stroke the area that you're going to make the test with and you'll find you won't even feel it. Well, we're just going to make a little test here. Stay relaxed. Doesn't that feel good? Now, what I want I you to see this, and I want you to notice how little he notices this. <clears throat> see? Now, you know that ordinary doctor, that would make a person, uh, that would make a person... I think so. Yeah. But how much did he feel it? Very little, because his threshold has been altered so much. You can now, still see the indentation. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gave him, you gave him pretty good pressure. But let's find out how much did he feel it. He knew you were there, and he probably broke through the threshold. I don't know. He looked there for a little bit, like you were just starting to break through it. But let's find out from him. So, how much did you feel of that, Doctor? I felt something sharp. Did it bother? Nice huh? Sense. Well, you know, he, he used an Alice clamp on you, and he had it right down there to where he, where he, uh, I told him not to, not to let me let it click it. it. Well, I had it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, uh, now let, let me tell you, Doctor, the, the friendliness was good. I wouldn't ask the questions. I, I, I would make it a statement. I, and notice how good that feels. But I wouldn't say, doesn't that feel good? Mm -hmm. Because some patients will feel required to answer you and snap out of the state. So uh, let him stay relaxed. Luckily, he worked with you, and he didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't feel like he should come out of the state, so he stayed in it. You but, should say, you do feel relaxed. Yeah. You and say, do you feel relaxed? Yeah, you say, now notice how relaxed you feel, you know, and, and then you'd be doing all right. That was excellent for a first time through, Doctor. 
But when you get this record that, that we give you in the outline tonight, uh, I want you to take that outline and the record and study the thoughts behind the record. The, not Don't memorize the words, but memorize the thinking behind the words. And I think you'll do all right. Now, Doctor, suppose we let the, the next man come up. How about you, Doctor? Would, uh, can we work with you next? You want to waste it? I want you to, to work with him now. I always want to get over the dentist. Okay. <laughs> what, what bank are you in? You're in the yeah. Are you a dentist? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Now, uh, uh, work with him as though he, he's a new patient in your office. Or not a new patient. He can be an old patient, but use the same approach that you saw me use on you or on whoever I worked on. Ed, I've noticed when you've been in the past, you've been a little bit nervous. Would you like to have this done and feel pleasant? If I can show you a method of relaxing and enjoying this, would you like it? Take a long, deep breath. Take a long, deep breath and let That's it all out. That's the first thing. Watch my fingers with your eyes. Let them close. Follow them right on down. Now let that good feeling go all the way through you, come down to your toes. <coughs> Relax those eye muscles to the point where they won't work. That's a very important line to get in there. Relax those eye muscles to the point where they will not work, and when you're sure they will not work, test them to see that they will work. And that they will not work. They will not work. That's right. That's right. No, not now, so. now you're going to lift the hand and drop it. I'm going to lift your hand and drop it, and I want it to be just as limp as a dish rag. And once is enough, because that was very limp, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah. So you, you don't have to do it twice. If you know that that limpness is there, never make the second test because that puts a worry in his mind that he isn't relaxed. You know? So you don't have to test him twice. Once is enough. Uh, now, uh, now you would add your selective thinking. Now I'm going to do my work on you, and, and you stay relaxed like that, and you won't mind it a bit. Now I'm going to do my work on you, and you stay relaxed like this, and you will not mind it a bit. Now, do you want to make a little test here? Sure. I think we're going to run out of tools here. Uh, but, all right, here, we still have one. Now, notice notice this, friends, because I want you to see that here, a little bit of selective thinking has been added, and notice where the threshold goes to. See that? Amazes you, doesn't it? Uh, and, and that threshold has practically vanished. Uh, now, Doctor, you could be doing all your dental work there on him, and the odd thing about it is that uh, a, any dentist here knows that the most difficult person to anesthetize is the dentist. Now, uh, gentlemen, you know that. I mean, dentists hate dentistry for themselves, as a rule, because they work with it all day, and they see other people having it and it's hurting them and so on. And so they are very difficult to anesthetize. And yet notice you practically got a, 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 a very deep state there uh, instantaneously. You see? Now, when you, when you want him to uh, open his eyes, uh, now you're all through with the dental treatment, how would you bring him out of it? We're all through for today, and I want you to open your eyes, and you will feel better than you have felt all day. Open your eyes. What'd you feel, Doctor? You mean when it comes to pain? Yeah. Well, I didn't feel a thing when he jabbed me. <laughs> but, uh, you, you could tell he was jabbing you. Uh, well, no, not really. You could feel something there. You couldn't tell what he was doing, but afterwards it, uh, oh, I see about a minute afterwards, it throbbed just a little bit just for a moment. And then it stopped? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, now remember that if it doesn't stop, you close his eyes again and say, now that'll, mm -hmm. now, now you'll feel wonderful when I have you open your eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. Do it over again. All right. Uh, very nice, very nicely done, Doctor. Suppose you take the, the, the next man. Would you come up, Doctor? Sam, I noticed that when you've been in before, you've been a, a bit tense, which means that you don't particularly care to come to the dental chair. No, my attention wasn't diverted on that, Doctor. I want you to see the signs. Uh, incidentally, regarding those six signs of hypnosis, just, just let me hold, hold you for just a second. I, I uh, didn't start to mention them because I never mention them to students. I let the students find the signs themselves because, because that tells me how much you've practiced. <laughs>
And uh, when you see certain things, then I know that man has been working. Uh, so uh, you find them. I mean, you see them and just notice signs that you don't see ordinarily. And when you see that those signs are there, I'm seeing signs here, but beautifully as we work. I don't know if you realize that. Now, every old student can see the signs from where they're sitting. You, you can see those. Dr. Trasker, can you see them from where you're sitting? Very well. And, and I think you can too, Doctor, can't you? They, uh, can you see them from way over there? Sure. But you see, if you don't know what the signs are, you don't know what to look for. So naturally you don't see the signs, but you showed signs. You still show them. Yeah. I feel it. When... <laughs> okay, Doctor. Go, go ahead, though. I don't want to disturb you on that. Sam, I noticed that when you've been in before, you've been a little bit tense. Wouldn't you like to be in? How would I? That's exactly how well, would just, I sit. Well, I, I would say it. Let me show you how easy it is to have a dental treatment when you're relaxed. Oh. You feel things more when you're tense. Let me show you how easy it is to have a dental treatment when you're relaxed. I want you to take my hand here, and I want you to, to watch the Don't forget that long, deep my breath. My left hand. Oh, excuse me. That's right. Uh, take a deep breath and exhale. Now I want you to watch the fingers on my hand as I bring them below your chin. Now close your eyes. Now I want you to relax your eye muscles to the point to where you cannot open them. And when you're sure that you cannot open them, try to open them. Now I want you to let that feeling of, re of relaxation surge throughout your body and down to the tips of your toes and to the tips of your fingers. Now we're going to do our dental treatment on you now. And nothing we do is going to bother or disturb you. And nothing we do is going to bother or disturb you. That's right. Now you don't have to make a test because we'll leave that part of it out from now on. But uh, you, you feel his hand now, and if it's relaxed, can you see? Can you see yourself? What what it would do to his threshold? Yes, sir. See, I don't care even whether you don't get the hypnosis; it will do things to his threshold. That's the thing that I wanted to make clear to the students. Uh, see, everybody wonders how I'm able to have my students go go out the first week and do nice work with this. It's because I know what's going to happen, and I've never told the doctor uh, before this semester that this is what happens. The instant you get that relaxation, you've got such a tremendous threshold change that the threshold practically vanishes. Well, shouldn't you use something deeper? You don't have it. You don't need anything deeper. Well, you don't know how, how deep a test was just made on you, and, and you weren't, uh, you didn't need anything deeper for that, did you? No, sir. No. Oh, you, this is plenty deep, Doctor. And the funny thing is that the longer he stays in it, and the more he likes it, the deeper he goes. So you don't have to worry about that. Mr. He'll go deeper as he needs it. Can you do cavity preparation at this stage? Oh, yes. Without yes. Anesthesia? Yes, sure you can. Sure you can. That is not on everybody. But if they get that depth of relaxation right now, if uh, you're working on cavity preparation at this point, you could even tell them now that the sound of the burr, you won't even notice. It'll just, it'll just make you relax more and more. Every time you hear it, it'll just make you relax more. And they won't notice the sound of the burr in most instances. All right, doctor, now you're all through working with them. Now bring them out of the state. No, I want no. I, I know you could come out of it, but I want him to bring it out of you, bring it out of it the right way. <coughs> when I have you open your eyes, you're going to feel exactly. wonderful. That's all. Now, when I open your eyes, when you open your eyes, you are going to feel wonderful. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all. Right. Yeah, he, he did already open his eyes before you yeah, said that, but I wanted you to have the practice of knowing how to bring the person out of the state. The reason that you have to bring them out with health suggestions is that this is an auto-suggestible state. And should he suggest to himself? But having a state made him concentrate like the devil, and he's got an earache or a toe ache or a belly ache or a headache or something as a result, he an auto suggestion implanted what should, in himself. Should we? Then the, you eliminate all chance of a negative auto suggestion by saying, when you open your eyes, you're going to feel wonderful. And you do. Should I said, now we are through with your dental treatment. And, and I want you to open your no, eyes. No, and when I have you open and your when eyes. And I hope, when I have you open your eyes, notice how wonderful you feel. That's right. Now open your eyes. How do you feel? It's the first thing you say to me. How do you feel? When I have you open your eyes, notice how good you feel. Now open your eyes. How do you feel? 
almost to get in the habit of saying, how do you feel all, mm -hmm. all the time, you'll find that you negate any auto suggestions that they might give themselves. But that was very, that was very good, Doctor. I can't expect you to do a, uh, a masterly job without a little bit more practice. This is the first time you were up here, you know. So, so, uh, you, that's all right for a first time through. Let's see how, let's see how you do with the, with the next man. Uh, Can you differentiate from uh, where your eye closure starts? And your hypnosis, I mean, your eye closure, if I say in, your hypnosis starts to say, oh, yes. First, you just got eye closure, well. Uh, That's right. The minute you add a suggestion, you've got selective thinking. That's hypnosis. The instant, you know, selective thinking can be applied in a second. Well, that selective thinking, you speak the alarm, the alarm is going to drop? No, that's merely to test for the relaxation. Anything you say after you have the hypno, uh, after you have the eye closure, uh, for example, now nothing that we do is going to bother you or disturb you, would be selective thinking. Now you won't feel what we have to do. Now your mouth will feel so good or whatever area you're working with. All right, doctor. Uh, you're in what? What's um, going on? Practice. All right. Well, we say he's come in with a, he has to have some suturing done. He's got a lesion on the arm or something, and, and you've got to, uh, you've got to do some stitching and cleansing and everything else of the thing and you don't want them to feel it. We've got a little laceration here on your hand that we'll have to repair. Now, I think if you will try to relax, why, this this won't hurt you at all. Don't use the word hurt. Don't use the word hurt. This, this, this won't bother this you at all. This job of fixing this won't bother you at all. So, uh, First, would you take a deep breath? <clears throat> give me your hand. And watch my hand as it passes down under your chin. Let your eyes close. Let the muscles of your eyes relax. And when you're sure they're relaxed, make sure they won't open. Now let that feeling pass down over your body so that your entire body is relaxed, all the way down to your toes. Now let's give your arm a little test. Let's lift your arm, let it drop, to make sure that you're well relaxed. That's good relaxation, right? Now encouraging, now, this is something important. If he gets good relaxation, I, I don't know if he is. I'll, I'll lift it, but if that, oh yes, if, he, if he's relaxed, don't help me at all. If he's relaxed like this, and that hand is as heavy as that, just say, that's wonderful. Now, now that you're doing exactly what I want, now then, uh, stay like that. We'll be able to do this work and nothing will bother you, nothing will disturb you. And your selective thinking becomes a part of that. You see what I mean? Now I'll take your question, Doctor. Do you uh, tell him that you're going to raise your hand? Oh, yes. I'm going to lift your hand and draw. Oh, you tell him everything you do. You never take a patient by surprise. I'm going to work on your mouth now. I'm going to work on the left side of your jaw. I'm going to work on the upper side of your left side of your jaw. Or the lower left, or the upper left, or the upper right, or lower left, or uh, the front of your mouth now. And, and uh, I'm going to work on this lower side. I mean, keep them informed. Never take them by surprise because they'll have, they'll have developed anesthesia for the area that you want to work in. But they will not have developed area for an unexpected place. <coughs> All right, doctor. Now, at this point, you could say, now you, now you just won't feel anything. You can go ahead with the, with the uh, washing of that, the preparation of it for, for uh, uh, suturing, and you could go ahead with the suturing, and you wouldn't feel it. You'd know you were working there, but, but it, uh, you'd say, now that this hand will get very numb as I, as I work with it now, as I. Rub this solution on it. Your hand will get very numb, and you just won't feel anything while I'm working there. And then you would go ahead and do the work. And then you would bring them out of it afterwards, after your work is all done, and you're satisfied. Then uh, I would bring them out of it. You bring them out of it. Yeah. Now we're all through with the work that we had to do. No, don't close your Don't open your eyes. And when you wake up now... No, when, he's not had a minute sleep. No. He was just like you. His eyes are closed. When you huh? open your eyes now, you'll feel better than you felt all day. Now, open your eyes. You do feel good now, don't you? Well, she's testing me, though. We, we will test, Doc. The only thing is, I, I, I've got to cover a lot of men yeah. tonight, and, and uh, if we tested every man, but you can see from the fact that 
every man who was up here got it. There must be a re there must be a reason. For Couldn't you tell the change in threshold? Well, you feel more relaxed. You know. Sure, sure. I think you're from this end, <coughs> Doctor. Would you come up, please? I'm supposed to.